Hi, I'm Ariel, and I'm a physics major at the University of West Florida. And I chose the physics major because I wanted to work for NASA. I always was interested in space science, and I felt like physics would be a good, broad foundation for space science. But it's also a broad enough major so that if I changed my mind about which direction I wanted to go in, it wouldn't be such a big deal. In physics, you'll study things like mechanics, thermodynamics, quantum physics. Um, you also get to do cool labs. In some of your upper level labs, you might get to watch electrons be deflected in a magnetic field. Um, however, the most important part of the physics major is that it teaches you to think. It helps you to look at situations from an analytical and logical perspective and helps you, allows you to figure things out. And that's really gonna help you in every area of life later on. Um, in addition to that, there are these things called REUs, which are research experiences for undergraduates, and there are so many of them across the United States. Uh, I was invited uh, for an internship at the National High Magnetic Field Lab in Tallahassee, where I learned about electron paramagnetic resonance, and it was just a great experience. All right, so in addition to your physics courses, you're also going to study a lot of math. Um, you go all the way up through Cal 3 and then you're gonna study differential equations, linear algebra, numerical analysis. Um, I found that a lot of physics majors often understand math better than math majors because we, le we learn how to apply it. Uh, my favorite part about this major is probably being surrounded by like-minded people. Um, because it is one of the more challenging majors, people like to get together and discuss concepts and share ideas and do homework together and turn in group labs. Um, another great thing about the major is that you get to learn about the world from a very fundamental perspective, and you're not gonna get that anywhere else. Um, the hardest part about this major is probably just dedicating the time to staring at problems for hours, considering concepts for hours. The upper level courses are hard for anybody. Um, sometimes you'll be given an assignment that takes five hours to do, and it only has five problems on it. Mostly people seem to be tripped up by electricity and magnetism course, which is one of the first upper level courses that you'll take. It's difficult because you're given equations, but every problem is different and you may not know how to apply those equations to that particular problem. Uh, that being said, it can be done. You just have to dedicate the time to do it. As far as advice, I would say hang in there the first two years because it, it gets more challenging, but it's also much more rewarding in your upper level classes. That's when you get to the cool stuff. Um, apply for research opportunities, internships, as much as possible and as early as possible because they want to take you. And there are so many of them and they're very rewarding experiences. Uh, if your first experience in the lab is kind of daunting, don't worry about it because the information that you learn, even if it doesn't seem super relevant at the time, it all falls together later. And also learn it the first time because you're going to see it again. So before you, before you come to physics, brush up on your algebra and your trig. You're going to need the algebra and calculus.